Hello everyone, my name is Ishan Jolly, also known as the Jolly Legend, and welcome to this video where I'm going over the best GoXLR settings and setup for the Lewitt LCT 440 Pure. And this is the microphone that I use for my live streams, and these are the settings that I use for my live streams on the GoXLR. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's pretty, if it's the microphone I use, these are the settings I use, obviously, right? I've done videos on um, the TNM 103, which used to be uh, my main mic and the SM7B and the RE20, all through the GoXLR. And the SM7B video actually blew up. It's almost at 13,000 views at the time of this recording, which is pretty insane. But honestly, this is the microphone I picked over the SM7B, over the RE20, over the TLM103, actually. I love this microphone, and it's insane because it's really, really budget-friendly. Like, I can't remember how much I bought it for. It was like 200, 250, something like that. How much is the LCT 440 right now? LCT 440. Uh, how much was it? 200 pounds. On Amazon, it is 200 pounds right now. 205 pounds. Compared to what the 300 and something, the, um, uh, uh, the, the SM7B costs. That's pretty insane. And the 450, the RS20 costs, and the 800 pounds, the TLM103 costs. This microphone is marvelous for that price. And uh, this is the first microphone where I watch back my VODs. I'm like, yes, this is the audio quality I want. I've tried all the other microphones. I'm like, ah, oh, this one doesn't sound as good. Like, I'm one of those people who like the sound of my own voice, or at least like hearing about the recordings, which, um, yeah, I'm weird, I know. But... This is the one that I'm like, yes, this is the audio quality, is is what I want. This is exactly what I want. And now I'm going to go through the settings. Right now, the settings are applied, and I will reset it back to default in 3, 2, 1. And boom. Here we go. This is the microphone completely raw, no EQ, no compression, no noise gate, no DSing. Nothing applied whatsoever. And here's the microphone as you would get it out of the box. And this is how it sounds. So, here we go, let me go to the software and show you how I set it up. First, we head into mic microphone setup. I'll explain a little bit before because whenever you open the microphone setup, the audio that comes out of this becomes much quieter. So let me just explain first. You want the audio to be halfway in between the halfway quiet and, no, halfway in between the quiet range and the loud range. So, okay, my voice will get quieter for a second. Bear with me still. So you want your voice to be somewhere in between here and somewhere in between here. So when you speak quietly, you're around here-ish. And then when you start shouting, you're around there. That is what you want, okay? So um, when you have the thing open, move around your gain and I guess move your microphone closer or further away or just move it so it's like at that distance or the distance you want it and then move the gain up and down to suit that. So if I make this really quiet. You can't hear me, so right here. Yeah. You couldn't hear me, and now I'm very, very fucking loud. You can hear my heartbeat right now. <laughs> ASMR, right? So there we go. Just set it to the set it to what you like. Set it to what's correct. And for me, that's 22 decibels with it about this far, like this far from my mouth. I don't know. I like having it close to my microphone to my mouth. Even though my, my room is, like, kind of soundproofy, I still like it close to my mouth. Especially because it's been hot. I have a fan right underneath me. It doesn't pick as much uh, fan noise up if um, I uh, have the microphone close. My fan's off right now. I can turn it on, actually, and then we can demonstrate the noise gate effect, actually. That might be a good idea. Let me just turn my fan on for a second. Here we go. My fan's on. It's now blowing cool air up at me. So the microphone should be picking up a bit of that. But, yeah, here we go. And now I can demonstrate the noise gate. Um, so what I do is set the noise gate to 10. See, you can't hear that fan anymore. Or at least I can't hear it in my headphones. Don't know if you could hear it that well before, but there we go. Right, so I set it to 10 as just a good baseline. Then you open it up and basically set the attack to 10 milliseconds, the release to 500 milliseconds, and the attenuation somewhere in between 40 and 70%. 40 and 80%, I guess. Anywhere in between 40 and 80%. So if you're, um, <laughs> I set it to this number because I thought it was funny, honestly, I could probably have it at 40%, but you don't want it at 100%, because then it's going to sound like it's cutting in and out, and you don't want the threshold to be too high. 
Because thing is, you don't want your noise gate to be too strong sounding. Because a noise gate that's overly strong sounding is really annoying to hear. Right, okay, so there's the noise gate, that's nice and simple, and there you go. Now, uh, let's do compression first, because it's easier to hear what an equalizer does after it's been compressed. What a compressor does is basically make it so that the quiet parts become louder, and the loud parts become quieter, and basically makes it more even. So what I do is I just set this to 50% as like a bass, and uh, just a bass setting. I make it one decibel louder on the makeup gain, and then just... Um, I don't know why this is set to that for some reason. Just make it like this. This is my settings. 4x1 ratio, 3 milliseconds attack, and 25 milliseconds release. And that is a perfectly stable, smooth, great sounding, um, uh, like, setting for the compressor. So ratio is basically how much the volume gets divided by above this level. So at minus 18 decibels, everything up to minus 18 decibels is the exact same. Whatever audio goes above minus 18 decibels gets divided by 4. So say I'm speaking at minus 10, those 8 decibels will get divided by 4, and so the 8 goes into 2, right, if you divide by 4. So then the 10, minus 10 becomes, um, minus 16. But then we boost it by, by 9 decibels, and then it becomes minus 7. So it's louder than it was before, but say I was speaking at, like, minus 2, and that's a 16 decibel difference, that 16 decibels get divided by 4 becomes, um... Well, four decibels higher, so minus 14, plus 9, which becomes, um, it's minus 5. <laughs> so you see, minus 1 becomes minus 5, and minus 10 becomes minus, was it 6? I, <laughs> it becomes much closer, so when you're whispering and speaking really quietly, and then when you're shouting really loudly, the volume isn't too different. Basically, that's all you need to know. The volume's not too different. <laughs> That's all you need to know. And the attack and release is just how quickly this affects it, right? Attack is how quickly the compressor starts to act, and release is how quickly the compressor lets go. And that's all you need to know. You don't need to know the exact specifics. I think I'll go in more detail in my SM7B video. But yeah, let's not make this video too long. It's already 10 minutes long in the recording. And I think I spent 7 minutes talking about my uh, noise gate. <laughs> I'm going to have to cut out a bunch of that, because I rambled. I've forgotten how to explain, haven't I? Whoops-a-daisy. <laughs> right, but those are just my compressor settings for this microphone. And now, equalization, my favorite part. So what I do is I, I'm one of the weird people who actually boosts this frequency. Everyone will say, do this. Everyone says, cut it out. And honestly, if your voice doesn't go this low, cut it out, yes. But I'm practicing my bass singing. <laughs> and uh, in bass singing, you do go that low. So I'm boosting this just by a tiny bit, just by two. And then I boost this by four, this by four this by two, leave these all at zero, boost this by two, this by four, and then this by two. And it's a nice symmetrical sort of EQ preset. And then I just uh, make it smaller, and there you go, 303, after it's been averaged out. So I like these EQ settings, and then I, I guess you guys can hear that this is a bit sharp. It's a bit sharp sounding. Like this microphone, like it's, a, it's quite a bright microphone, so when you add that much treble in, it sounds sharp. And in all my previous videos, I haven't uh, applied any de-essing. Well, I think I applied like 5% de-essing in some of them. But this one, I do 25% de-essing on. This is, I don't know, <laughs> I, in all my previous videos and all my other microphones, I'm like, no, no de-essing whatsoever. You don't need it. <laughs> this microphone, since it's so bright and I'm adding quite a lot of treble in, I put 25% de-esser on. Some people would put like 75% and that's way too much. 50%, 70%, that's too much. 25% is a solid de setting for this, um, for this EQ preset. And here, these are my settings. And this is how my microphone sounds. And this is the sound I've chosen for my live streams. Over the SM7B, over the RE20, over the TLM103, over the Neumann U87AI, which is a $3,600 microphone. I've chosen this $300 microphone over that. I actually prefer this sound after processing to that microphone. All the audio purists are going to hate me for that statement, but I stand by it. Low price, excellent specifications, not even for the price, excellent, very professional specifications, like low noise floor, um, great capsules, all that kind of quality engineering that you get um, from a much higher end microphone you get in this. 
Like, damn. <laughs> it's just fantastic. It's marvelous. And I love this microphone. It's so good. Honestly, I could say this is my favorite microphone. I really like the MKH416 as well. But for, for a quarter of the price of that microphone, a third or a quarter of the price of that microphone, why, why? Just, just why go for it? This is, this is amazing, especially after all this processing. I really, really like it. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. You guys have been absolutely amazing. Hope you really enjoy this, and hopefully, um, you like this microphone as well, and uh, hopefully this video helps you. Thank you guys so much for watching. See you all later, and goodbye.